In this video we are focusing on volume of triangular prisms. Volume is the number of cubic units contained within a three-dimensional object. The rule for volume of a triangular prism is V volume equals half base height times height. And what this means is you're going half base height, which is half times base times height, that is the area of a triangle, and you're multiplying it by the height of the prism. So the rule of thumb is area of the base times height. And let's have a look at these diagrams here. You can see here on the right hand side, I've coloured in the triangle. That is the half base height, and then this is the height of the prism. I've also laid that down, and you can see that this is the base and height you use for the triangle, the actual main face, the shape of this prism, and then the height of the prism itself. So sometimes you'll get pictures of triangular prisms that look like they're standing up, and others when they're lying down. So you just need to look at the clues to figure out which is the base and height for the triangle and which is the height for the prism. Let's look at this question here. So we have a triangular prism and it has three measurements. The first thing that we should be doing is labelling these so we know which one is which. Now I can look at this face of this triangle here and I know that's the height of the triangle and that's the base of the triangle and this is the height of the prism. Now that I've established that, I'm going to write the rule and the rule is volume equals half base height times height. My second line is substitution. That means I'm replacing these letters for the values given to us. So half times 3.5, because that's the base, times 6, that's the height, and then times 9 for the height of the prism. In your calculator, you go 1 ABC fraction button 2, times 3.5 times 6 times 9 equals and you will get 94.5 it is meters and because it's volume it's in cubic meters okay so cubic units the one on the right here uh, is just a different type of triangular prism a different shape but we can still identify the uh, heights and base and the height again so let's have a look here we have a triangle that's sitting in front of us here and to be honest it's probably a right angle triangle so it's probably a, a uh, you know a little 90 degrees here that's what it looks like to me it hasn't indicated that but it does look like a right angle triangle to me so this could be the base or the height or vice versa i think i might call this the base and this the height and this eight is the height of the prism so it doesn't matter, as I said, which way that goes around. When there's a 90 degree angle, it can be either way. So we're going to write the rule. Volume equals half base height times height. Volume equals, we're now going to substitute in the values. So our base is 5, oops, times 5, times 11 for the height, and times 8 for the height of the prism. Punch that into your calculator. 1 ABC fraction button 2 times 5 times 11 times 8 equals and you will get 220. It is centimetres and it's cubic centimetres because we are doing a volume. 